everyone, and welcome back to Mary Grace Spills the Tea. Well, not really welcome back, since it is the first episode. In this show, we discuss all the juicy gossip surrounding AG with me, MG. See what I did there? Wasn't that cool? Not really? Oh. Let me tell you, with American Girl's 35th anniversary coming up, there is a lot of tea to be spilled. How this all started was on April 2nd, AG posted on their Instagram and Facebook this photo by AG Igier, Five Hens and a Cockatiel. And they were, of course, gave her proper credit, and I personally believe she may have been sponsored by them. And why I think this is because of the unreleased mini doll that is featured in the photo. Or the possibility of this being an unreleased mini doll. And I and other commenters quickly realized it resembled Kirsten in her birthday dress. In 2011, AG released special mini dolls in their holiday outfits to celebrate 25 years of American Girl. Is it possible that American Girl is releasing mini dolls in their birthday dresses for this occasion? I think it's possible. However, one other commenter commented that Five Hen and a Cockatiel's mother had made the dress and put it on a regular Kirsten, and this probably explains why Kirsten is still has braids, because if you look at Kirsten and most of her promotional pictures where she's wearing her birthday dress, she is not wearing braids. She just has like, uh, I think like a flower crown, if I remember correctly, and her hair is just all loose. So if American Girl was going to release mini dolls based on the birthday outfits, they would probably do the hairstyle the same way. However, that is not all. One commenter asked, where did that tiny Kirsten in her birthday dress come from? An American girl replied, she's coming for a visit. After that comment, some commenters asked American girl if there was going to be a return of a full-sized 18-inch Kirsten doll, which American girl did not respond to these comments. However, commenters also shared a screenshot from the American girl website, which states the following. As a part of the 35th anniversary of American girl, we're excited to highlight many of the original American girl dolls, like Samantha Parkington, Addie Walker, Josefina Montoya, and Felicity Merriman. These 18-inch dolls offer inspiring stories that help shape bright futures, and each of our historical characters feature a world from the past that includes doll clothes, doll furniture, and doll accessories. To make this even better, there are even rumors that people who work for the American Girl stores are being told that the original dolls are coming back in their original meat outfits for a limited time. This explains why some stores have dolls in displays that are wearing their original meat outfits and not be forever meat outfits such as Samantha or Rebecca. At MG Spills the Tea, we didn't think it would be enough just to tell you there was rumors of Kirsten coming back, but we thought, hey, why don't we ask her her opinions about what she thinks about her return to American Girl. So, Kirsten, what do you think about your return to American Girl? Um, I think it's really cool that I'm coming back because then more people can buy dolls that are like me and I just think it's a really good idea. What is your favorite outfit from your collection you're hoping they bring back? Maybe the one with the flowers? Um, okay then. What is your favorite moment from your stories? I think my favorite moment from my stories is when I came over from Germany. Impasta! She isn't a real Kirsten, she's a Just Like You 3! Yeah, and I'm a Just Like You 20, so I know a Just Like You when I see one. Oh my goodness, what? No, I'm a Kirsten, I swear! I know a fake Kirsten when I see one. Oh yeah? Prove it. Um, when she asked you what outfit of mine you thought they should bring back, you said the one with the flowers. Yeah, I don't see the problem with that. I'm from the pioneer times. Everything had flowers. Fight, 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 fight. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Wait, I can explain. Hiya! Now that's the drama you came to see. And that's why we don't do field interviews anymore. But that is it for this episode of Mary Grace Spills the Tea. If you want to be notified when episode 2 is released, make sure to subscribe down below by hitting the red subscribe button. It is absolutely free to do so, and it just gives you a little notification when we have new uploads. And who wouldn't love hearing about the possible return of one of American Girl's most iconic characters, Kirsten Larson? And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Mary Grace Spills the Tea. Here, let me explain. You have two minutes, pal. I've always been jealous of you because you've had a name. You've had a story. You have a cool collection. 
I'm always just going to be just like you number three. I'm going to be nameless. I'm not going to have any unique clothes. I'm going to have no value on eBay. My life is miserable. And to think, we're just the same. We're both blonde, have bangs, have blue eyes. We're the exact same. And yet, American Girl keeps on trying to divide us on our differences. When in reality, we should come together and recognize our similarities. So I'm just wondering, can we be friends? Yes, we can be friends. So should we hug? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, um, um, I think I'll, I'll put, no, um, I'll put my arm here and you just, just give us a second. Okay, on a serious note, how do you get dolls to hug each other? I just, I'm really struggling here.